Hey guys, this is Luis Moreno with Think Medicare, Think ACA. I got a question or a, or a comment on one of my videos about availability of clients. Is there a shortage of people out there that need help with ACA? I'm going to answer that question before or right after you guys like, comment on this video, and if you would, make sure you subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, got a lot of things going through my head. All right, so is there a shortage? Oh, hell no, there's not a shortage. They are a ton of people out there that need our help. Virgin clients. In other words, they don't have a plan. They are uninsured. Also, you got to remember that soon we'll be having a lot of people that have maybe a, a short-term plan that's going to end. And at that point, they can only get a three-month plan with a one-month extension with one carrier. And they're going to have to consistently play that game if they want to continue. So we got plenty of people. Now, let's talk about people that already have a plan. Number one is you're going to have a lot of agents who have built the book up and they're half fat and happy and they're just going to let them auto renew. Okay. So there's going to be a ton of people that are going to want to change. You have the potential of hitting those up. Also, uh, there's a ton of rat agents that have been suspended and terminated. What about those books? Remember, they already stole it from somebody else. So as of right now, they don't have an agent. They're going to need a ton of help out there. Okay. Now, the existing clients that are out there, here is what I have seen 12 years of ACA is that never has there been one carrier. So I'm going from memory here. I'm going to get a little old. Okay that has remained the most or the the best, the, the, the least expensive from one year to the next. There's always a changing, okay? So I'm gonna go back three years. Is that what I can remember? Four years. We had one year where Molina was number one, Molina Healthcare. Guys, I've got a community of ACA and Medicare agents that were putting together. 25 years in business is what I'm gonna be sharing with you. Guys, come join us at the community, a community of ACA and Medicare agents, and we'll show you how to grow. So a good chunk of clients, the ACA mentality of, of people, they want to pay zero premium. Okay. Those guys right now, or those guys back then, a chunk of them went to Molina. Okay. A lot of these guys just wanted zero dollar premium. They didn't care much about network. They didn't care about formularies. If there were if they were a concern with doctors and meds, well, we might have moved them with other companies, but the majority of them went with a zero dollar plan. Okay, that's Molina. Next year rolls around. It went from Molina to United Healthcare. Yes, United Healthcare. That was 2022. All right, 2023 rolls around. Then United comes into the game and they're the least competitive. And then 2024, Blue Cross Blue Shield was a $0 plan to write with. Now, I'm talking about just my county, guys. But the same pattern is going to happen everywhere. So unless you only got one or two companies, then maybe they're going to flip flop, or maybe you only have one, and it's that carry all the time. But if you're in an, in a county that has multiple carriers, what you're going to see is a lot of flipping and flopping uh, as far as who is going to be the most competitive carrier out there. And a lot of people want a $0 premium. So even if they lose their doctors, they're willing to sign up with that carrier and just find a new doc. Or maybe they're just healthy and they're keeping it there just in case. This video is being sponsored by Agent CRM. Agent CRM is a CRM that I use for my agency for every line of business, auto, home, life, commercial, Medicare, and ACA. It should be the CRM that you use too. Click up here to get some more information. In summary, Hell yeah, there's a ton of people out there that need our help. Remember, you got a whole bunch of uninsured, okay? We've had this Medicaid unwinding happening throughout the country. A lot of people losing Medicaid and CHIP that you can take advantage of. Number three is you have the RAD agents that have been suspended and terminated. So those clients have no agents right now. You can help those people out. And number four is you've got... Well, those people that have agents or don't have agents but are insured, remember, okay, 
that a lot of them, if they stay in the current plan and don't update their eligibility, a lot of times their premium is going to increase quite a bit. Okay. And they're going to want to go with another carrier that is either the same that they're paying now or zero, assuming they qualify for a zero dollar premium. So there's a lot of churning, a lot of movement of the same client from one plan to the another every single year. So guys, you want to position yourself. You want to get ready. You want to know everything about ACA or Medicare? Click up here to get my ACA and Medicare smart books. Here's my recommendation for agents. Make sure that you're set up with every carrier in that county. If you're in a federal state, then all you do is your certification with portal.cms.gov, and it works on all the FFM states. Those are the states that utilize the marketplace, healthcare.gov. And then you have about 20 or so states that are state-based exchanges. Same scenario there. Okay, you got to get all the carriers in that state, but you have to certify with that specific state. So pick where you're at or where you're going to be selling. Get all the carriers. If you're like, Luis, I need help with carriers. I can help you. My email is down below, luis at 360insurancegroup.com. Email me and I will help you out. I'll send you out contracting and then you can work on your certification while we're doing contracting. That way you're ready for November the 1st. Guys, there's a lot of potential out there. Take advantage of it. Down below, I've got information on my new ACA 101 course. I have the smart books for ACA ready to go for 2025, both English and Spanish. And then finally, the Medicare smart book is not ready yet. It's coming out soon. Okay, I'm waiting for final numbers from CMS and I'll have those ready. Guys, thank you so much. And don't forget, comment, like, and subscribe to the channel.